If you watch real closely, you can see it coming up. It's about 54 degrees this morning. We're gonna get back up into the upper 70s or 80s. Look at that. That is coming up, guys. Beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes. A little bit of everything. It's getting serious, guys. Let's talk. So the tops of my beets in the garden look to be fine. You just look at it like that, but look, look what's happening when I pull them up. So the greens looked fine, guys. You'd never know there was any damage until you go to pull them up. So I'm going ahead and picking what I can, guys, before they're destroyed because they are doing a number on these beets. Now, I've not dug into the turnips yet, but I think that they are favoring the beets. And I don't think it's rabbits. Um, we have a couple of rabbits roaming around, but not that many to do this kind of damage. I think it's either rats or voles. So Greg's at the hardware store. We're fixing to beef up our, our uh, elimination tactics. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But uh, it's very disheartening, very disheartening. So be sure and check your beets. Now we're going to get into the turnips. See, they don't go for the little tenderlings. They're going for the ones that are just about ready to be harvested. I hate that I'm pulling these up. But I'm very concerned that I've created, see, an eating field. Very disheartening, guys, because um, I had a good crop of beets that was going to come in. I still have maybe 15% okay of what I planted. Still some in the ground. Um, I really hate leaving them in there because like I said I'm afraid I'm creating a uh, eating field where they want to just chow down and uh, feed them and keep coming back. I need to think a little bit on this. Never had this problem in the past guys and I've uh, farmed and gardened out here for a very long time 15 16 years and uh, it's just been in the last year that we've seen um, issues with uh, rodents and my mind is racing right now trying to figure out what we're gonna do and how we're gonna control them I know that uh, some people put out the poison my concern is secondary poisoning because I do have my dogs and if uh, they find one uh, I'm afraid they might pick it up and start uh, dabbling with it, and I really don't want that to happen. And Yeah, so we're pondering. So if you're watching this, give me some uh, comments below on, on what you guys have done in the past or what you're doing now. But, uh, yeah, I've never, never seen anything like this before. Um, we'd like to get some kitty cats. I know a lot of you have suggested that. But um, Miss Bear and Hank... I um, like to chase things off or like to chase things and I, I wouldn't want to put a little kitty through that unless we brought it in the house but Greg is severely allergic to uh, cats. We used to have quite a few ferals and uh, we don't have them anymore. Um, they just disappeared but anyway I would like to get uh, I'd like to get some more but I don't know how we're going to work that out so Greg and I are thinking about getting a couple of little rat terriers because we've seen where they've worked on farms and in other areas and in other countries and I've kind of been looking for some and I'm not really seeing any yet but but you know this is the time that uh, that breeders are having their puppies and um, so if y'all hear anybody in my area that has any rat terriers let me know because uh, we think that uh, we're going to try to find some of those we think that Miss Bear and Hank would adapt more to a puppy bringing into the house or puppies we may get two and uh, so we're kind of leaning in that direction but in the meantime what are we going to do 
So the moral of the story is, guys, is you can try to do everything right, but uh, certain things can go wrong. So we'll be battling voles and mice and field mice or whatever it is that comes our way and try to stay on top of it. So be sure, check your beets, check your turnips, check your root varieties, because it seems like things are ramping up, at least here in North Texas. Take care. God bless. We'll be in touch.